Hi everybody, welcome back. Here is your Aztec Chevrolet forecast. Beautiful blue skies today. The Saharan dust is gone. And we actually picked up a couple stray showers in the Rockport area in spite of the winds, which are still gusting uh, 30 miles an hour here in town. Peaked at 33 in Orange Grove and Alice, so it was on the windy side today, except where it rained a little bit right over here near Rockport about 2.30 this afternoon, right there and uh, just north of Rockport up towards the Lamar Peninsula. But it's high and dry now in the coastal bend. Satellite and radar shows again sunny skies, couple cumulus clouds around, and that is it. Evening forecast is quiet with temperatures dropping to the 80s, upper 80s to low 80s between now and midnight and then on into the upper 70s by 6 a.m. as the winds come down a little bit below 10 miles an hour. Forecast lows will be at 79 degrees here, but 83 in Port Aransas, 74 in Alice, 75 for Freer and George West. Some good numbers there and closer to normal with 79, warm, mild and stuffy in the morning, 92 already hot and windy at noon and 93 sweltering heat again. If you could take today, you'll be able to take tomorrow, but the heat is on with sunny skies at 5 p.m. High tomorrow, we'll take it up a notch to 95 from 94 today, 87 over on Mustang Island to 101 in uh, Premont and foul furious. Some of the representative temperatures around the region. Here is the uh, low pressure causing the persistent uh, pressure gradient at a high pressure to the east. And again, you can see the lines of constant pressure. There's quite a few of them, so we've got the moderate to strong winds in the area, especially during the daytime hours uh, when the, the temperature heats up and that changes the gradient and increases the pressure gradient, tightens it up a bit and gives us more wind during the day than it does at night. This is all lifting up to the north where there is extremely hot temperatures. Our feel like temperature is 99. It feels like 108 in Omaha, Nebraska and Chicago is only two degrees behind us at 96 feel like degree temperatures and 91 in Cleveland. So the heat is expanding northward around this area of high pressure that's going to build up to the north over uh, tomorrow and the weekend and then subside. This trough is going to dig south, way south. Very unusual to see that in July. That's more of a late August, early September feature. Gives us a northerly flow in the upper atmosphere. That'll send a front into central Texas and it'll cool off much of the Great Lakes in eastern U.S., but it will also bring an opportunity for rain here in the coastal bend. Not this weekend. That'll still be up in the plain states. Showers and thunderstorms there cooling things off. And then that front gets here and it will cool us off a little bit with some rain around Tuesday and Wednesday. It's not a washout, not a big deal, but we've only had a hundredth of an inch of rain in the month of July. Things are really burning up. Tropics, well, they're quieting down. That's good after Barry last week. The Gulf, the Caribbean Sea, and the Atlantic Ocean all is quiet. Here's one reason why. Temperatures are only in the 70s over here. You need 80 degrees to maintain or generate a hurricane. We just don't have it. Here's your NEC Co-op Energy 7-day forecast. 79 tonight, 95 windy tomorrow, 79 and 96 here on Saturday, 96 on Sunday. It's going to be a real hot July weekend. Then we get less winds starting Monday through Thursday, and we'll pick up isolated showers here on Monday. Then we're talking about scattered showers here on Tuesday, back to isolated Wednesday. So Tuesday is our day, Katia and Lee, for rainfall. It's our best shot so okay. far this month and even back into the uh, latter part of June. So except for the farmers that are harvesting right now, yeah. we need it. Absolutely. Uh, that's okay. true. All right. All right. Thank you.